Hello everyone. Today we're looking at one of these. This is a Panasonic transportable um, as was used on the Vodafone ETAX cellular system um, out in the UK. Uh, this one dates back to uh, around about 9394. Um, I bought this quite a few years ago. Uh, this was a, an old friend of mine's uh, and uh, he used this for a couple of years, certainly a, quite a few years. So it, it's in pretty bad state uh, it, it, from a collector's point of view. Of course, over time, the uh, the cord has grayed out a little from uh, from uh, the, the, the dryness in the air. Um, uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, the rest of the phone is in OK state. Um, the trick with these on the antenna though is if you want to turn the antenna you need to you need to pull them so that you can actually twist it um, this one's a bit hard uh, no actually you need to push it so you can rotate the thing freely and then it latches in at the angle that you want uh, something which the owner of that phone didn't know because I'll show you that in a minute uh, the antenna on that is completely wonky uh, so uh, I'm going to fire this one up. This uh, I don't actually know the model of it. Um, I don't think um, it's just it just says Rakow Vodak Limited Newbury Burks. Um, it's uh, it says type EF dash six one five two EB. Um, so make it you know make it out what you will. Um, but uh, I, I don't know what what the model of this is um, at the time what they called it. Uh, it, it's got um, some some holes to wall mount this thing uh, if if you're so inclined to do so, um, and this is um, this is a, a little modular as well. Um, so um, I'll try and take this apart in a second uh, and show you all. This has a, a makeshift antenna that a friend of mine, um, well, I, I got this with him, but he uh, he had his friend uh, make up an antenna for this. So this has got a um, some sort of connector on it with a bit of cable. I guess what is that? That's a is that an F type? No, that ain't an F. That's a, uh, a TMC or a it ain't a BNC. Maybe it's an NMC. I'm not even sure what connector that is. But uh, he's made the he's got he's had the the antenna made up. It's got a bit of heat shrink up there and uh, some some uh, some copper goes there. So, um, but I tell you what, it did work because uh, he used this a long time and uh, he damaged the antenna in about uh, in the second week of having this phone. So. This is well and truly seen a lot of radiation. So uh, let me fire this one up. This does take the standard battery. When I say standard, uh, it's the battery that most uh, most phones of this sort of size take. Uh, even the Orbitel takes it. Some of the Nokias take it. The Motorola's, the Bosch's, the Alcatel's, uh, the Orbitel's. I've already said that, haven't I? Uh, there's a whole bunch of phones this sort of shape, uh, shape and size that that uh, that take the battery, and that's just this this standard form factor battery. Um, this is a, a 2000 milliamp hour battery uh, and this baby slots right in and with a bit of luck this should uh, come to life now unfortunately the screen's got a little bit of um, a, a black rot what I call black rot it's uh, the LCD starting to, to leak um, so let's go ahead and fire this one up there we go um, I'm gonna drop this though because it is quite heavy and um, what you need to do on these is there's a little latch to get the handset off there's a little latch so you press that and you lift the handset uh, the original number for this was 0836740416 uh, I guess if you owned one of these well I know who owned it so uh, his phone is now famous uh, uh, on YouTube so um, the only thing you got when this was actually on was the power um, I don't actually think there was a um, a service level meter on this phone uh, certainly not one that I can tell and what's interesting to note about this phone is it ain't even got a menu button um, so it's just got lock last and alert uh, and I'm not even sure how you would um, select that because there's no shift button is there uh, so you got store select recall mute uh, presumably that's check so I, I'm not too sure but um, certainly if you dial that you'd get it and the display is starting to go as you can see which is a shame because um, I only have one of these actually 
Um, but I had, I've seen a few of these around. They do come up every so often. Um, I just ain't got around to buying another because uh, this one ain't my particular. This it isn't one of my particular favorites. This phone. So, um, but uh, this, as I said, operated on Vodafone, which was a UK cellular provider. They operated on eTax, um, and then uh, I think in 1990 one possibly they launched the uh the gsm service uh in the united kingdom so uh and the e-tax ran up until uh i think 2000 or 2001 alongside the gsm uh, and this was purely for use on e-tax because this is a uh, old school analog technology so i can't really place a test card with this or do anything with it really um i want to try and see if i can recall a number out of it but um with the screen not working Let's have a look. Recall three. Does that bring up anything? No. Recall four. Um, I guess not. Uh, let's see if we can get the last number dialed. Nope. Recall send. Nope. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure how you work this. Uh, if if any, I've got a manual or something. Um, hit me up with a comment because. Um, I don't actually know how to work this or how even you yeah, how you would change the, the 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 ringtone on this. I know it's got volume buttons on the side, but um well, those don't even do anything actually. So maybe if you do uh maybe if you do a recall and then that or a select or a store or a check. Nope. Mute. Nope. Um so I don't actually know how you would even use the side for maybe that's just the earpiece not for the ringer itself um if y'all know uh, hit me up with a comment so uh, this is just a quick video about this one um what's interesting to note though is that um this one uh was also rebadged as an orbitel which is what this baby is it's exactly the same phone same size same dimensions same everything in fact you could take the plug off this guy if I can get it out and the plug off this guy and interchange the handsets even um, these are quite tight fit but just to show you the connections the same connectors all the same um, and these phones are pretty much identical um, so the, the receivers the same in fact you guys got well, I didn't show you this on this phone you got a, an external a little rubber thing which covers a connector for some sort of external accessory connection and also on this side y'all got the uh the the um i know that looks like an rf connector actually that don't even look like a charger so i'm guessing that would have been for uh, is that a bnc that's a bnc so i would have guessed that's for uh an external antenna of some sort or is it external dc and no maybe that's for power Seems a little strange they'd use a, a, a BNC for external DC in. That's what the uh, the little rubber grommet on that says. So um, I'll take that as gospel. So steal the battery out of this one and um, quickly fire up the other one. Let me plug the handset back in. Um, and like I said, this is a, a rebadge of Orbital, and I, I, I'm not too sure if. Um, if Panasonic made these or Orbitel, I'm guessing Panasonic uh, because I do have another one very similar to this, not the same model, but uh, a little bit smaller actually. Uh, so Panasonic did make phones at the time. The only other Orbitel I have, actually I have two other Orbitels, uh, and they both came out much later than this because this is still old analog. The, uh, the Orbitel that I do have actually is, uh, they're both GSM and they're actually similar size to this, believe it or not, and they take this battery as well. So um, th these battery packs are real common, um, but these are expensive. These are about, uh, I'd say about 45, 50 bucks plus uh, another 20 bucks to ship, I think. Uh, certainly this is a 2014 battery that I bought um, a few months ago and it does hold charge real well. So um, let me put the, uh, the receiver back in in uh, in the socket and um, I'm not even sure this one powers up I've not tried it so we'll hope hopefully check that out um, now you'll see the buttons uh, are exactly the same um, just to give you a quick comparison the button layouts exactly identical 
um, even the the lock last and alert is the same on these it's just in tiny writing so it is pretty much the same the same phone I did say the uh, the antenna on this was um, pretty wonky uh, even though it's got instructions on how to manipulate it they obviously um, damaged it somehow so unfortunately uh, and this is the original antenna actually um, this is what the original antenna for this would have looked like so let's fire this baby up um, like I said I've not tried this but it looks good so let me quickly undo that uh, just to show you all uh, so this got signal no service uh, at least you know that it's not got service because uh, the screen on that one were, is a bit um, uh, is bleeding a bit uh, and I don't know what else to show you because this is exactly the same. Um, ah, but on here, you do hear that these buttons do work because they do beep a little bit. So maybe the handset on that one's busted. I'm not too sure. Um, so recall one, maybe not. Recall five. Maybe this doesn't have any numbers in it. I'm not too sure. Check recall. Um, maybe not then. Um, what happens if we do 999? You get the, uh, I don't know if y'all can hear that. The, um, the standard service isn't available. So yeah, typical. Um, this guy obviously, um, changed numbers a few times by the looks of it, going by this sticker. Um, and it's got a, a sticker for a, Visa merchant of some sort. Maybe this guy was a mobile trader because he's got the uh, the numbers for the Visa Visa card authorization on there. And these are real old numbers because uh, these are uh, th four digits as a prefix for the UK, and that that changed many many years ago. Uh, prefixes in the UK nowadays are uh, I think they're five digits. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're five digits. Uh, so so this this will have changed long ago. Um, so, but that's that's all I can say about this one, really. Um, I don't actually know the model. Uh, let me just check quickly if this has a a badge on the bottom. Oh well, surprise, surprise! This has got a Panasonic badge at the bottom, um, as you can clearly see, and it says it's an EF six one five seven EA, Matsushita Communication Industries UK Limited, made in the UK. Uh, so yeah, I mean does look like Panasonic made this and they just rebadged it as a, an Orbitel. Um, certainly this handset ain't one I've just stuck on because the bottom says Orbitel as well. So, um, but yeah, worth noting, it's got the same DC in connector there, which is uh, interestingly a little different actually. This has got three little holes and um, this one's got a, a BNC, which is very interesting actually so I'm guessing the charger would have been slightly different or at least the socket on these um, got the uh, the other connector at the bottom same sort of connector there um, and let me try and um, take one of these apart actually um, I did do this many many years ago when I knew how but I think I'll struggle to remember so we'll just have to have a play with this so uh, let me take off the antenna because this is in the way. Um, I do remember this being modular. So um, let me try and see if we can get this baby off because the phone definitely does come off. There we go. So you got the uh, the carry case, which is what this is. Uh, the, the, the battery slots in there. And obviously that would interface with the bottom of the phone. Um, and then you got the phone itself, uh, which is what this looks like. This has got a whole bunch of dust on the inside. Um, it says, caution to prevent electric shock. Do not remove screws. No user serviceable parts inside. Yada, yada, yada. Usual warnings, I guess. Um, and it's got the heat sink at the bottom. Clearly, you can see. And uh, the interface, more importantly, to, uh, to this baby. Um, so that's pretty much it for this one i think um it's uh not not that not that nice a phone to be fair um certainly 
Um, I would choose a Motorola over these, but that's just my personal preference. The, there are obviously people that, that had these at the time, uh, like my friend. So, why is that scar? That's got a bit of red. Is that not slotted in properly or what? Maybe it's not incorrectly. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got to say about these. Um, feel free to check out some of the other videos. There we go. Um, about these. Um, and, um, you know, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you like, share and subscribe.